They are free men of the free land, and they live right here in Manitoba, but they don't follow the same rules as you and I. CTV News is told they have become a concern for police and are tying up the courts. CTV's Caroline Bargut joins us now live. So why are they concerned, uh, Caroline? Well, Gord, free men don't believe Canadian acts and statutes like the Highway Traffic Act are in fact law, so they don't follow them because they say that is their right. They also don't recognize police authority, and that's led to some confrontation. Hello, Matt. Hello, officer. How are you? Good. They call themselves free men of the land. Canadians who don't pay taxes and drive without a license. This is from the government's own website. Dean Clifford says the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, or CSIS, even considers free men like him domestic terrorists. Do you agree that you're a terrorist or not a terrorist? How do you feel about the, the label, so to speak? If I cause them to feel a little bit of terror, then I'm okay with that because they've been terrorizing me for 15 years. According to Clifford, he obeys the laws of the land but not the rules made up by government. Because of that, he's no stranger to police. Over the years, he's been charged with driving without a license, has been jailed for resisting arrest, and has had several vehicles seized. He now wants police to pay for their actions. When the RCMP pull you over and they, they, they seize a truck, but they don't issue a notice of seizure, they just take it. That's theft. So I charged two of them out in, uh, in British Columbia with theft, and the courts didn't want to hear it. Clifford says he began issuing liens to officers who pulled him over or infringed on his rights. Each has a $50,000 fine attached. So far in Manitoba, he's already handed out 17. None have yet gone to court. In a statement to CTV, the RCMP says individuals associated to this movement are a concern because some followers advocate violence to promote their views. This may involve violence towards police officers and that there are officer safety concerns when dealing with followers of this movement during routine police interaction. Clifford says it's police who cause Freeman harm, not the other way around. Unfortunately for them, I don't care about their bottom line or their profit margin. My freedoms and my liberties are far more important than that. He plans to continue fighting for those freedoms in court. Justice Minister Andrew Swan wasn't available to talk on camera today, but he did issue this statement. The justice system treats all Manitobans in the same way with due regard for their constitutional and statutory rights. No one is above the law, and if you break the law, you'll face the applicable consequences. The courts have appropriate tools to deal with individuals who are alleged to be misusing the court process. When I asked if the freemen were right in their beliefs, the province said no, they are not. Thanks, Caroline. CTV's Caroline Bargut reporting. Well, he hasn't filed an income tax statement in nearly 17 years. Dean Clifford says, as a free man, that is his right. He drives a truck without a license, owns a home with no credit, and tonight he gave CTV's Caroline Bargut a peek into how he lives. I planted the date seed, so i got a date tree growing now. This is uh, how I'll Dean Clifford lives. Actually, the self-described naturalist home is full of plants and light. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I like to come down here and it's bright. And the sun's already in. My plants are growing. I got coffee, coffee plants over here, coffee bean plants, and I'm even trying to grow a pineapple from a pineapple head right there. Yep. We have running water, too. But Clifford isn't anything like his neighbors. So you don't have any government ID? No, not at all. The 37-year-old considers himself a free man of the land. Prepaid visa. Inside his wallet, there is no driver's license or Manitoba health card. This Canadian hasn't filed income taxes in nearly 17 years. How do you not pay Revenue Canada for 17 years and stand here out of jail? Uh, very easy. Nobody is obligated to file or pay income taxes. Nobody. Now you know the origin of man-made laws. Clifford's views are shared by tens of thousands okay. of other freemen, not just in Canada, but around the globe. What is a free man? Not only does Clifford own this home in rural Manitoba, he has a farm, seven rental properties in Winnipeg, a construction company and two vehicles. And he has it all without any government ID. No mortgage, no bank loan, and no credit. I don't need them. We have equity, equity lenders in Canada that for 25% down, they'll loan you money based on the equity of the home. And you can pay them off with no penalties. I thought I'd take this opportunity while I was uh, committing a crime in progress here. By, the uh, FBI and CSIS call uh, Freeman of the Land, the like Clifford, the domestic terrorists. There's a warrant out for, for what? The RCMP consider them a safety concern for police. It's 
now developing awareness material to better protect frontline officers. I just want to be left alone. They're the ones initiating the contact. They're fully armed. And then they're calling me a safety concern. Clifford maintains he's just trying to live his life and would like to be left alone. He believes if more people learned about their rights, they would be doing the same. Caroline Bargu, CTV News, Winnipeg. And we wanted to know how Clifford is able to avoid paying income taxes for 17 years, but our calls were uh, not answered or not returned from Revenue Canada.